morning gilds the skies my heart awaking cries may jesus christ be praised alike at work and prayer to jesus i repair may jesus christ be Sadness fill my mind, a solace here I find. May Jesus Christ be praised, or fades my earthly bliss. My comfort still is this. May Jesus Christ be praised. of mankind in this your conquered find may Jesus Christ be praised let all the earth around bring joy us with the sound may Jesus Christ be Hello and welcome to our worship time today. Thank you for being here with this video version of church. My name is Chaplain Elisa. If you're new to this setting, you know I always say that even though we are apart physically, we are together in spirit. So I welcome you in the name of the Lord. So good to be together to worship. Today, I will be leading our worship time on the theme of beauty, one of my favorite topics for uh, worship. Uh, you see, I've changed my background just a little bit, so I have different elements of what, at least what I consider beauty in the background. So we'll be uh, thinking about beauty today, and what does that have to do with our lives of faith in God? So thank you again for being here. Please join me as I open our time together in prayer. Let's pray. Great and loving God, we ask your Holy Spirit to bless our time together and to refresh us with your beautiful presence. In the midst of a world full of trouble and strife, we thank you for watching over us, guiding us, and as we confess our sins for forgiving us, enable us to enter your presence today joyfully and reverently, and let us depart with the assurance that our sins are forgiven. Fill us, O oh God, with the peace that passes all understanding. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Let's begin by singing the doxology together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. We'll sing this through twice together. Words will come up on the screen and then I'll be right back. Let's begin. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Let us affirm our statement of faith by reciting Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd, together. Here we go. The Lord is my shepherd, 
I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Mm, so beautiful. Let's continue our worship with the hymn, For the Beauty of the Earth. So appropriate. For the Beauty of the Earth. Let's worship together. Here come the words up on the screen. For the beauty of the earth, for the glory of the skies, for the love which from our birth over and around us lies. Lord of all, to Thee we raise this our hymn of Let's continue with joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Joyful, joyful. Here come the words. Lovely. Our first scripture reading today on our theme of beauty is from the Old Testament prophet Isaiah. This is chapter 62. Listen how the Lord describes his people. For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her righteousness 
goes forth like brightness and her salvation as a burning torch. The nations shall see your righteousness and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be termed forsaken, and your land shall no more be termed desolate. But you shall be called my delight, for the Lord delights in you. <laughs> this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's so beautiful. Let's continue singing. Let's sing, Jesus loves me, this I know. Here come the words up on the screen for us to worship together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. And let's continue with Holy, Holy, Holy. Beautiful song. The words will come up on the screen. Let's sing together. Our second scripture reading today on our theme of beauty is a story from the 21st chapter of the Gospel of Luke. It's an interesting choice, but see if you see the beauty in this story. As Jesus looked up, he saw the rich people putting their gifts into the temple treasury. Jesus also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. Truly, I tell you, Jesus said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Interesting. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's continue our singing with His Eye is on the Sparrow. His Eye is on the Sparrow. 
Here come the words. Right, let's pause our singing for just a few moments and think a little bit more about beauty. Might not be something that you connect with faith very often, but let's think about it together. As always, be ready to pause the video if you'd like to give yourself and the people you're with a little bit more time to consider concepts about beauty as I raise them. So have a remote control or be ready to touch the screen as I give you prompts. So let's think about beauty. So first of all, as you'll see in the background here, I've assembled some things that I consider beautiful. But that's my question for you. What are some things that you consider beautiful? So you can pause the video here. It's a lovely list to generate anything at all that you consider beautiful. So many things, right? There's nature outside, a beautiful blue sky, or a beautiful rainstorm, or snowstorm even. Beautiful children. Oh, who doesn't have pictures if you have children, or pets, or loved ones, or friends? People. People are beautiful, all shapes and sizes and colors. One of the reasons that I put this quilt as our table covering today uh, when you see it up close, it's got amazing little teeny tiny stitches. And it belonged to my grandmother and her grandmother before that. And I think it's beautiful. There's also the painting that you can see behind me right over this shoulder of the fish. I love that painting. I saw that painting at an auction one time. So it's a very simplistic kind of artwork, but I think it is beautiful. When I saw it, I had to have it. It spoke to me. It still speaks to me. That's why I have it up in my office. So usually when we think of beauty, we think of things that we can see. But let's think about all of our senses, not just your eyes. Name some things that you think feel beautiful. Feel beautiful. You can pause if you'd like. I think of things like silk or 
cool water or sunshine on your skin, on your shoulders or on your face, or when it's a hot day, when you feel a cool breeze, doesn't that feel beautiful? I think so. So that's feeling. What are some things to you that smell beautiful, that smell beautiful? Feel free to pause for a moment. I don't know why, but the, the first thing that always jumps to my mind for smelling beautiful is baking bread, baking bread, or sometimes baking cookies. Mm -hmm. It smells beautiful. But there's other things too. The smell of a baby's head. Oh, I think a baby's head smells like heaven itself. All right, so that's feeling and smelling. What are some things that sound beautiful? What are some things that sound beautiful? Again, you can pause for just a moment here. I hope that lots of you said music. Music of all kinds sounds beautiful. And even specific instruments. You may have a particular feeling of beauty for the cello or for an oboe or a violin. There are other natural sounds that sound beautiful, some sounds in nature. I think of birds singing. I love, love, love hearing bird song in the spring, especially when I wake up. All right, now, what are some things that taste beautiful to you? What are some things that taste beautiful to you? Hmm. Well, okay, I think chocolate is at the top of my list. I love chocolate, pretty much of any kind, but especially I like dark chocolate. But there's other things that are just incomparable. I think where I live, Colorado, we get peaches in the late summer that are, I wait all year for the taste of these peaches. There's apples, fresh apples or strawberries or a beautiful tomato, something really fresh and beautiful from the garden. Oh, that's something that tastes beautiful. All right, so we go through all of our senses so we can really appreciate beauty. And even certain actions can be considered beautiful. That's why I chose that story of Jesus seeing this poor woman put two small copper coins into the tr temple treasury, right? That was a beautiful act because she was trusting God to provide for her. That's beautiful. And here's where the connection to faith comes in. We see God's touch on everything because God is the great artist of all creation. God is our creator. God is the great artist. So everything that God has made, God himself says, it is good. It is beautiful. You are beautiful. Despite any flaws you think you might have, you are like a piece of art to God, the Heavenly Father, the creator of all the universe. You are beautiful because God made you exactly as you. Let's pray together silently for just a moment, thanking God for his beauty and his spirit within us. Let's pray silently for just a moment. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of beauty in your creation, and especially the gift of beauty that you have given to every single human being on this planet, that we shine because of the spirit that you have placed within us. Lord, may we never forget that to you, we are like a crown of beauty, that you delight in each one of us, Lord. Help us to shine forth in your beauty. And now let us pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Let's sing, uh, continue our worship with He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. I love this too. All the beauty that God has made. He's got the whole world in His hands. Let's worship together. Here come the words up on the screen. He's got the Continue with in the garden, in the garden. Let's worship together. Here come the words.
our third reading today is a poem called Pied Beauty by Gerard Manley Hopkins. Glory be to God for dappled things, for skies of couple color as a brinded cow, for rose moles all in stipple upon trout that swim, fresh fire coal chestnut falls, finches wings, landscape plotted and pieced, fold, fallow, and plow, and all trades, their gear and tackle and trim. All things counter, original, spare, strange, whatever is fickle, freckled, who knows how, with swift, slow, sweet, sour, a dazzle, dim. He fathers forth whose beauty is past change. Praise him. Mm, that last line gets me. He, God, fathers forth, creates, and his beauty is past all changing. Praise him. Mm, beautiful. Let us continue singing with amazing grace, amazing grace. Here come the words up on the screen. fourth reading are a few quotes on beauty. Mahatma Gandhi, the great Indian nonviolence activist, said this, when I admire the wonders of a sunset or the beauty of the moon, my soul expands in the worship of the Creator. Amen. The ancient Chinese philosopher Confucius said, everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. The actress Evangeline Lilly said, in your 20s, you can be pretty, 
but you don't accomplish real beauty until you find wisdom and depth. I love that. And then this funny quote from the American comedian Kinky Friedman. He said, people often say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I say beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. <laughs> I love it. Let's sing when the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in. Let's worship together. saints go marching in oh when the saints go marching in oh lord i want to be in that number when the saints go marching in oh when they crown him lord And let's sing, How Great Thou Art, How Great Thou Art. Oh, beautiful. Let's worship together. Here come the words.
this service has encouraged you to look around for everyday beauty wherever you are, in the faces of those around you, and in the mirror when you look at yourself, God has made you to be the beauty that you are in his eyes. Now please receive the closing blessing, and then we'll sing the doxology through one time to close. Please receive the closing blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's close with the doxology. Let's sing it through one time together. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Thank you again for being here today and joining me in our time of worship to our beautiful Creator God. Go in peace. Know that I am praying for you and love you. Would love to hear from any of you at any time. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. This little light of mine this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light